Uh, hello, my name is Albert Ousu Ajimal. Um, today, I'm so honored um, to meet the, um, the MP for Dadia Kotokun. Now, um, she's in charge for Laboni, Airport, um, Cantonment, that La. That, that's, that's where um, her territory is. Today, I'm so privileged to see her. And then the things that she's doing is what amazes me. Um, she's, she's got a program that she's training the young people in the society around her vicinity um, for so many programs. And I want her just to give us a gist of what she is doing. Um, let me not waste too much time. Let me talk to uh, Madam Na Odole Soa. Madam, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Um, I'm very privileged to meet you today, hearing what you are doing. Uh, I want you to tell us, what are you doing for these young people that you are actually empowered? Tell me. Thank you very much. Um, I'm honored to be on your platform as well. As member of parliament for the good people of Tadekitokong, I promise them when I become member of parliament, I will assist them attain skills. And so we have the, a program that Nyawokwapa Skills Training Program. And with this program, we do catering. For catering, we do three months. And then we have done um, facials, that's meat. We have done that. We do um, detergent making, that's the soap, the liquid soap, and the parasol, and all other detergents. And then we do dressmaking. So with the dressmaking, we do six months. And then we do beads making. Yes, so we have three, and then ice cream, and then the local drinks. So we have trained over 200 people in the constituency, and I made an I make announcements, and then the people come on board. And so, uh, for me as member of parliament, I think I deem it fit to let my people acquire skills because we say and. Earn a skill to earn extra income. Learn a skill to earn extra, extra income. income. Most of the time we are waiting for the white color jobs. Sometimes they are not forthcoming. And for me, I believe we shouldn't sit at home without doing anything. I cannot give money out to people. But I said just come and learn it for free. They don't pay anything. Yes, and so just come register and then if you are available, you can do the training. training. And I've had people from the University of Ghana, I had people from the University of Ghana who came to train as well during their um, vacation. Okay. Yes. And then I have two ladies who are bankers. They have also come to learn a skill. And so with this job, to earn some extra income. And when your job fails, you know that you can rely on something. And I always encourage people that be you a man, be you a woman, you need to acquire a skill. You can't just be there and say, I'm waiting, there is no job, and I'm waiting for that job. And so when you have the opportunity to learn something, I think you have to get into it and then learn it and learn it very well. Excellent. Answer. Um, Honorable MP, thank you so much. And and I, want, I want to add that um, the right NBTI exams as well. That is, for that one, if you want to, we encourage them to write, but we don't force them to write. And so some of them have written the NBTI exams. And then with the dressmaking too, after the six months, we go on attachments with our experts so that we be able to polish up very well. And for dressmaking, we graduated 22 people, we gave all of them sewing machines. And the interesting thing about it is, when you, after you learn, we give you your tools to be able to start something because I don't want you to go and sit at home and say oh when I, I finished the training link the training and I, I didn't have anything to start it so we give them the startup for them uh, to uh, be able to do something on their own yes so I wish to encourage everybody that learn a skill to earn extra income now Papa says work and chop not work and pay because I give you the materials and the equipment that you can work with. And so I encourage everybody, when now Papa, the third program is coming up soon, when you, you hear of it, please come and register and then you also learn a skill to end it. Yo, you've heard from the Honorable MP and the work that she's doing is so marvelous. If you've heard of the, about, uh, about this program, what's the name of the program again? Nyao Papa Skills Training Program. Nyao Papa Skills um, Training Program. If you hear of it, don't sit at home. Come and join. Um, where exactly is it? Or do you do it? Where exactly? So we do it in La Town. Um, that is 
we have um, a total filling station when we are entering Latan. Um, behind, right behind the total filling station, on the road to La Pese. We have our address, but since I, we are talking, I want to give the direction. Okay. Behind the total filling station in Latan, you see that the fruit is honorable. The honorable. Yes. Thank you for the honorable work that you are doing. Is there any telephone number? If anybody wants to call, they can call. Um, the number is 020 246 8672. They can call that number they and if they want to be on that program, they can be on. Thank you so much, and I'm privileged to be talking to you. God bless you for this.